Okay, this video is about logarithms. What we use logs for, or logarithms, is to find an unknown power. So if we've got an unknown in the power, we can use a logarithm to work out what that unknown is. So here I've got an example, 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, this is a whole number answer, so um, we don't actually need to use logarithms here, but we're going to use this one as an example. So it's 2 to the power of something equals 16. Well, we know that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. So 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. So the answer is 4. But logarithms are going to be really useful when it's a decimal answer, when it's not a whole number answer. So, or a really big answer. So what we've got here is we've got 2 to the power of x equals 16. And I'm going to show you how to rewrite that as a log. So we have log and the base is this number here. So the base is a number with the power. So it's log with a base 2. And the answer is 16. So it's log to base 2, 16. And that is going to equal our x. So if we type this in the calculator, it will give us our answer of 4. So log 2, 16 and equals x is the same as, is equivalent to, 2 to the power of x equals 16. So these two statements here are exactly the same. And as we know, this is going to equal 4. Okay, so on the left here, we've got some equations written in log form. And on the right, we're going to write them in power form. So we're just going to get used to converting between these uh, two forms. So if you want to pause the video and give them a go, that's absolutely fine. If not, um, I'm going to go through them now. So this 4 here is the base. So 4 is the base. I've color coded it red. So 4 is going to be the base over here. 3 is the power. So it's 4 to the power of 3. And that equals 64. So log 4, 64, log base 4, 64 equals 3 is equivalent to 4 cubed equals 64. Same again here. So I've got log base 10 this time. Sometimes if logs base 10, you will just see it written as log and it will not write the 10 at all. It will just say log 100. If ever you see log by itself, it means log base 10. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. So the base is 10. The power is 2. And that is equal to 100. So 10 squared is 100. And that's equivalent to log base 10, 100 equals 2. And again, so I've got the base is 3 for this one. The power is 4. So 3 to the power of 4 equals 81. So that's converting from logs into powers. And now we're going to go back. So powers into logs. So we've got log. The base is 5. So the answer is 125. And it equals 3. And finally, we've got log. Now the base is 2. The answer is 64. And that equals x. So this is the conversion we're going to be making a lot of the time to work out an unknown power. OK, so there's some questions here. So it says find the value of, and then you've got something in log form so you can think of it as this equals x and you have to find out what that missing power is so again if you want to pause the video and give them a go you can if not i'll go through them now so if i rewrite this in log form again so the base is seven the power is x 
and it's equal to 1. So 7 to the power of what equals 1? Well, the answer is 0. 7 to the power of 0 equals 1. Same again here. So 5 to the power of something is equal to 25. And we know 5 squared equals 25. And finally, we've got 2 to the power of something is equal to 32. And 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. Okay, so these ones we're going to need to use a calculator for. So it says use your calculator to solve and give your answers to three significant figures. So what we've got to do, we've got to convert from this form, from the power form, into the log form. So for the first one, we've got log base 3, answer 51 is equal to x. So this is what you type into the calculator. So let me show you this first one. We've got the this log button here. So I've got log base 3, 51, put it into the calculator. And to three significant figures, we've got 3.58. Okay, uh, pause the video, see if you can do the next two, and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so for the number two, we're going to have log, the base is five, the answer is 105, equals x. So we type it into the calculator, and that's 2.89 to three significant figures. And finally, we've got log base two, 500 is x. Type it into the calculator, and we get an answer of 8.97 to three significant figures.